You loud mouth. You better be quiet. You're gonna be sold. Stop. No need. What are you doing, baby? Good Wednesday morning. It is April 8th. The little bit I've been recording has been all over the place lately, so I'm gonna see if I can piece them together and get a decent vlog out of it. If I can't, then those parts won't end up in here. These girls are due, one's due tomorrow, one's due on Sunday. They're huge having multiples, neither of them showing any signs of having them anytime soon. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna induce, I'm gonna induce both of them. So one will get on her due date, which is tomorrow, and the other one will be three days early, or thereabouts. From what I've read, it's 30 to 36 hours, so it's 7.30, 8 o'clock here now, so they should have them tomorrow in the afternoon between like 2 and night time. So I'm gonna go and get that get these girls taken care of so that one will stop yelling like that and then I'll do the rest of the chores. front legs like this. There you go. Come on. <laughs> now you're stuck. kind of see why I wanted to induce this one. She's the one I'm more worried about and she's the one that's due on Sunday. I just figured I'd get them both over with. I mean the other one's due tomorrow so we're totally fine. Um, this one. She's bigger. She's having a little more trouble. So you might be asking why I'm inducing at all. And obviously I mean sorry trying to get up like that. She's huge. She's already tried going off her feed once which is ketosis and can kill them. It's when the kids are taking more energy than she's getting in. And then they exasperate by not feeling good and then they stop eating. So I gave her several doses of molasses and corn syrup earlier. So today's Wednesday. So it was like Sunday and Monday where she was in Saturday. That's when it started. Sunday, Monday I was dosing her. Tuesday she's back to normal. She's eating, but I mean, it can strike again, she can go down fast, so. Got her on grain, got her up quite a ways now on grain, and I just figured I'd induce her and get these kids out of here. If they do start wanting to go overdue like the other one, then the kids can be huge. The more they go overdue, the bigger the kids are, and we've already had two does go overdue, and they had nine and 10 pound kids, two of them each. So, I just decided it would just be better to get it all over with. This one I wanted to do anyway because she's starting to struggle a little bit. These are yearling first fresheners. They're not supposed to get this big. We ultrasound her with triplets. Although we were wrong on Eclipse when we thought we saw triplets, so we could be wrong on her, but she's so huge. I don't think we're wrong. So, we should have babies sometime tomorrow. And there's a range, they, there's a range, but I wouldn't say they go before tomorrow, and then they might go Friday, but it should be tomorrow, so I might just roll this vlog like into that one then, depending how long it gets today, I guess. Huh, Bobby? 
girl, you gonna have little babies for us? Yeah. Now she didn't finish her grain, because I think I've made the right decision because she has been eating up all her grain. So now if she's starting to go off grain again, well, I think we, it's good that I decided to induce you, girl. I hope. I hope it goes well. Yeah, you too? Another cracker? Left. Right there, girl. Right there, Alice. Good girl. Ah, that's right. Ah. I mentioned some roses a while back, and I never finished that. Well, I planted them back here. The climbing roses. I have five. One. Oh, and then they planted a whole bunch of shrub roses along here, too, so mine are along the fence. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ginger? Okay, be a good girl. And we got a faucet back here, which is nice. I'm gonna water these roses. I think it's turned on because it's hooked up the sprinkler system. But we turned the sprinklers on yesterday, so looks like our faucet is on. Yeah, that's my that's my roses water. Oh, now you want some out of there? You should get a drink out of your mini water bowls before you come up here, huh? Yeah, it's too busy down there. Can't bear to get a drink down by the barn. You gotta tip that. Looks like my bulbs are coming up. I planted these in the spring because I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet. Thought they might have been all rotted or dead or something. They're coming up. The highest in there. Crocuses kind of got uncovered, most of them. I don't know why. Just pile a little bit more dirt on top of them, cover them up. Are you mocking me? You don't need to be planted by no humans. Here's a daffodil. Is a bigger daffodil? Here's some of my other flowers in our hyacinth. The lambs get out and they were eating them. And they picked my pine tree bald again. Should just get rid of that pine tree. Been there for three years and hasn't grown more than two inches. Anyway, just have this little pen around it now. Keep them out. So these are actually that's Flika's grave and that's Ty's grave. And then my puppies. But not quite all of them are coming out. There should be another one right there. Another one right there. Although. I'm not sure where that little bloom came from. It's broken off. I don't know if it came from there. Probably. But these ones are doing pretty good. Especially this gorgeous one. Daffodils are doing good. Where they came up. Mine didn't come up. Because I procrastinated and planted them way too late. Are these paper whites? I think so. This is my other hyacinth, the pot, kind of just out in the middle of nowhere. Obviously, I didn't feel like mixing anything up when I planted these. <laughs> I think I had a bag of blues and then like a bag of like mixtures. So they have like the dark pink, the light pink, and the white. The blue ones, or purple, or whatever you want to call them, smell gorgeous. The other ones don't really smell at all. I really think these blue ones bloom the best too, versus those ones. Having trouble deciding what to do about sunglasses. If I don't wear sunglasses, the last couple summers I've been getting really bad headaches. But the problem is, these, you can see, aren't really covering because I don't over top my glasses well. 
So what I've done before is, like if I've gone swimming so there's a sun glare on the water, I've just taken my glasses off and just worn the sunglasses. Oh, you like water? Uh, what was I saying now? Or when I'm driving, I've put the glasses on. Over top of the sunglasses, which works a lot better, but looks stupid. <laughs> I think I just happened to, so I was wondering about getting like auto dimming glasses or something, but I think then I realized that they're not as strong as sunglasses, so I don't know if they'd be dark enough. But then I was just watching a video a few days ago and someone mentioned prescription sunglasses. And I'm not sure what those are, but if they're glasses built into sunglasses, I think I'm going to go that route. It's not too expensive. I need to do some searching on it because this is really ridiculous. But I need my glasses. I could get contacts. I don't think I'm gonna get contacts. Go swimming. Go swimming. Sarah's thinking about it. It has been 24 hours almost exactly. Both these girls are obviously in labor. Um, actually, the water is broken. Do you have any milk yet? Oh yeah, you're full. Their letters were hard, but they didn't have any milk in them yet. So this one, she's getting pretty strong too though, but her water hasn't broken yet, so. It's this one we're keeping an eye on. So I guess I'll milk and see what part of chores I can get done before I have to come back in here and see the girls. Should be pretty soon for her. I shouldn't be able to get chores done. Yeah. You be a good girl. But anyway, I need to milk. Feed my babies. Yeah, babies. Well, we had a successful kidding. Well, two kiddings. Poppies didn't go quite as planned. Um, things weren't going very slow. It was just a little bit slow, and so I was kind of watching, and then eventually a head came out, just a head. So I felt it and I like, kind of felt alongside it. There's like no way this is coming out like this and you get a leg. So I pushed it back in. Right alongside it were two back legs. And so we had a head and two back legs. Obviously two different kids. Well anyway, it was pretty easy to get them sorted out. Got them out. The first kid, one that was coming head first, was a doe. She had a bunch of fluid on her abdomen and was dead. Had been for a couple days. Second one was Buck. Big kids. So I'm really glad I induced Poppy. She's three days before her due date still. If I was a 10 pound Buck kid, Doe wasn't much smaller, though I didn't weigh her. And she'd been dead for a couple days. So I'm really glad I went ahead and did that. So I don't usually give antibiotics after a dead kid. I shouldn't say usually. I don't just automatically do it or after I've assisted me either, but I'm going to for her because the placenta and some of that discharge was pretty ugly looking. Actually, I shouldn't say placenta, but like the sack and stuff that it was in. And I'm wondering, someone's got a placenta here, but I don't know whose it is. Because I hope she cleaned out. I hadn't thought of that. Well, anyway, I'm gonna give her a penicillin and then I'm gonna. This kid's eating real well. I'm gonna finish milking her out, take her kids up to the house, and see if anyone wants to eat. Because I'm gonna be bottle raising all these kids, so Poppy's surviving buck is already in the house. So I'll show you him later. I always like their molasses water after they have babies. Never seen this before. What are you doing? I don't know if that's very healthy. For her, I don't really care about you. Let go. I don't think you should pull that out. 
Eat your own. It's right there on the ground. Hey, doing, baby? Someone's gonna need selenium. Those front legs. No. Don't be silly. Hey, baby. What happened to you? Just thought I'd show you what I mean by the water belly. So you can see her belly's pretty big. And it's just all fluid in there. So I'm not sure what causes that. But Carmi also had a ton of fluid. Just kept gushing out. Kind of think this kid is related to that. I don't know if she caused a lot of fluid or a lot of fluid. Whatever caused a lot of fluid also caused her. This kid to have a lot of fluid on her. I don't know. But unfortunate. But at least the Pavi's fine and the Buck kid's fine. And I mean it went as well as it could. They came out pretty easy once I got them sorted out. So. Guess that's the way it goes sometimes.